live from Centennial High's Hawk's Nest in Bakersfield, California. I'm Mark Heffernan on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Tonight's matchup features the visiting Mission Viejo Diablos against the host Centennial High Golden Hawks. Mission Viejo and Centennial are kicking off their season in this so-called week zero. Seems like they begin games earlier every season. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a great idea here in the central section where temperatures have been in the hundreds over the past two or three weeks. But since we have a state playoff picture now and state bowl games, uh, most teams play 10 games in an 11-week season, so they have a bye. And then you have your section championships and then state bowl games. And they want to finish those out at least a week before Christmas. That's why the seasons begin very early. Many teams beginning action tonight. Other teams will start next week on August 31st. Okay, uh, long these, both these teams tonight have some new players that will be in action. Uh, last year, Mission Viejo was 10-3 and overall, 4-0 and in the South Coast League, and Centennial was 6-5 and for the season, and they were 3-2 and in the Southwest Yosemite League. Centennial blew a golden opportunity to knock off Bakersfield High School. Being last year went on to be, be an undefeated team, and uh, Centennial had a three-touchdown lead on BHS going into the fourth quarter. But unfortunately for the Golden Hawks, the drillers came back and were able to win that particular game. Look for Andrew Doherty for Centennial tonight. He is number 80. He's a fantastic defensive back and wide receiver. That's going to do it for tonight's PlayOnSports.com pregame show. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a few moments. Friday Night Football begins next on your destination for high school sports, PlayOnSports.com. Centennial High School Marching Hawks will be back in the golden, golden pageantry court. Tonight's officials for tonight's ball game, the referee will be Nick Ellis, umpire Tom Trees, headlinesman Guy Cook, the line judge will be Ruben Sanchez, and the back judge will be Josh Huber. A quick reminder that next week, Welcome back to Friday Night Football on PlayOnSports.com. Coming to you live from Bakersfield, California, I'm Mark Heffernan on your destination for high school sports, PlayOnSports.com. Tonight's matchup features the Mission Viejo Diablos against the Centennial High Golden Hawks. The Diablos 10-3 last season. They were 4-0 in the South Coast League. They beat the G-Hawks 35-6 in opener in 2011. They're in Southern California. And they was ranked number seven in the state and number 33 in the nation. So they had a very strong team. In fact, they are a southern section power. Coach Bob Johnson, in his career at Mission Viejo, is 64, 12, and 1, only 12 losses in his Diablo career. Brian Nixon is the head coach of Centennial, the Jayhawks, 6 and 5 last year, and 3 and 2 in the Southwest Yosemite League. As I mentioned during the short pregame, they had a chance to knock off Bakersfield High School last season. In fact, I think they had a three-touchdown lead going to the fourth quarter, 
and Bakersfield High made a marvelous, a sensational comeback, won that game, went on to capture the Central Section Division I championship, and of course were undefeated in 2011. Bakersfield High 13-0 last year, and they were upset that they were not invited to a state bowl game, so BHS has kind of revamped and built up their non-conference schedule as they are playing at Ventura tonight. They also have a matchup against uh, Long Beach Poly on the road, and they play Cactus Valley of Arizona at home, and Garces at home in a couple of weeks. Mission Viejo is head coach is Bob Johnson, offensive coordinator, associate head coach is Brent Johnson. Bob Johnson, the head coach of Mission Viejo, and Brian Nixon, the head man for Centennial. Brian assisted by Richard Parrott, Dave Rice, Justin Crane, Ty Trim, and Tim Stevens. Mission Viejo has a host of coaches like Brett Johnson, John DeFries, Adam Fay, Dwayne Moulton, etc. Now, a player to look out for Mission Viejo, he's 6 foot 200 pounds, number one. That is Max Renfield. And I guess he's headed to USC, I believe. Also, they have Sean Monster, receiver, 6'1, 170. Ian Fever, the quarterback, 6 foot, 160 pounder. I'm sure. Quite have uh, quite a few offensive linemen. Both coaches say they have newcomers, but at these schools, you just kind of reload every year. Coach Nixon told me about Andrew Doherty, number 80, wide receiver, defensive back, and punter for Centennial, 6'2, 195 pounds. And we will go down the list as we get set for this game. Mission Viejo moving left to right here in the first quarter. White uniforms, yellow helmets, red trim, Centennial at home, red jerseys, gold pants, gold helmets with a little red and white trim. Centennial moving right to left here in the first quarter. Hawks Nest in Northwest Bakersfield. A very nice evening, by the way. It was super hot about two hours ago, especially during the first half of the junior varsity game. And that was won by Mission Viejo, 41 to 10. So the Jayhawks hope to turn the tide in the varsity encounter. Losing last year 35 to 6 on the road and uh, starting off this year 2012 at home against the powerhouse Mission Viejo. Coach Nixon said he likes it. He likes to play a power early in the year to see what his team is made of and to see what they need to improve on during the course of the season. Who else but a guy who used to be a quarterback would say that? Quarterback at Shafter High, Bakersfield College. And also in the Rocky Mountain area. Kickoff. Go through the end zone. It'll be first and 10 for Centennial at their own 20 yard line on the touchback. It'll be a touchback for the Centennial Golden Hawks. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. So the Jayhawks will come up to the ball first and 10 from their own 20. Right to left here in the first quarter. A subtle breeze blowing here at Hawks Nest. Number eight, Reagan Inger in a quarterback. But that sun is down, so it's a, a fairly nice evening. Man in motion for Centennial. Shotgun formation. Inger on the keeper up the middle. Inger on the keeper up the middle and runs to about the 20, 21 yard line. Number of Diablos there to make the tackle. It'll be second down, second and nine for Centennial. The Gene Hawks looking to the sidelines for a play. This will be our second play from scrimmage in this game. Week zero. Centennial, Mission Viejo. Yeah, we had a player shaking up on the first play from scrimmage in the game. Andrew Alamon at quarterback for Centennial, number nine. 11 09 to play in the first quarter. Brian Nixon doesn't like something that the official said to him. Well, Brian is pumped up already. We just began the season. I 
I'm not sure what the situation is. The Centennial's up to the ball. Number four for the G Hawks. There was a motion on that initial play. Two receivers to its side. Number 24 would be Colte Paxson. Of course, Doherty, one of the wide outs for Centennial. Like I said, let's get this show on the road. Brandon and Joe with me tonight. Penalty flag on the play. Videographers, producers, producers extraordinaire for playonsports.com. From my vantage point, from our vantage point, we can see the southern Sierra Nevadas in the distance. It was hazy earlier. The sun has set and uh, quite a nice evening for late August 2012. You can see a couple of planes in the distance, a helicopter and some transmitters, radio transmitters. I have to talk about something. A long wait between the first play and the second play from scrimmage in this game. And the clock is running. So we have second and nine for the Jayhawks. Totally wide left. Alamon, quarterback for Centennial. Man to his right. Ball carry up to about the 25 yard line. Number 90 on the stop. Frazier, the ball carrier. Picks up about three or four. 99, Garrett Marino on the stop. Garrett Marino, 99, making the tackle for Mission Viejo. The last number. The pass complete. First down for the G Hawks. Across the 30 to about the 32. Silas Francisco. Front of their own bench. Pass complete for Francisco for the G Hawks. Silas, 5'9", 160-pounder, a senior for Centennial. First and 10, 10 left here in the first quarter. So the first down for the G-Hawks. Quarterback rolling to his right. The pass, long out, incomplete. Adam Lopez, the intended receiver for the G-Hawks. He would have had to make a highlight film catch for that one. I would call it second down for the G-Hawks, second and 10. 10-10 to play here in the first quarter. No score from the Hawks' nest at Centennial High School. People just settling in. We had a long JV game won by Mission Viejo, 41-10. Doherty, near side, ball on the left hash mark. Single running back in second and 10. He has the ball. First down, 45, midfield, 50, down the sidelines, pushed down the bounds. Noah Frazier for Centennial. Jayhawks, first down. Nice speed by Frazier. Bolted in and out on that particular run. Number four, 5'8", 165 pounder. The trio making the tackle for Mission Viejo. Cornerback on the right side. G Hawks showing a little different look there. First and 10 into Mission Viejo territory. At the 42, 10 3 to play. The man is in motion. Snap, looks a left. Play action. Lofts behind the air, incomplete. Doherty double cover coming, nickel package for Mission Viejo. They would not let him go anywhere on the left sidelines. Call second and 10, nine, five, six on the clock here in the first quarter. Play on sports is not only your destination for high school sports, football action, but it's also the place for the most comprehensive coverage of high school playoff and championship events in all sports from across the country. Playonsports.com, high school sports live here. They also live here all the time, every day, every second. Quick toss. Frazier across the 40, knocked out of bounds at the 39 in Mission Viejo territory. Quick toss to Noah Frazier. Marino with another tackle for Mission Viejo. We'll call it third and a long seven, a third and eight for Centennial. 
Well, the ball on the left hash mark, moving right to left here in the first quarter. In front of the sidelines. Viejo's fans on the other side. Not a bad contingent. Got a long travel time from Southern California. Bad snap, quarterback to throw. Hit, throws an incomplete. Anger pressure on the pass. Great pressure by the up front people from Mission Viejo. Okay, fourth and seven, will Centennial punt it or go for it? They're probably bringing in the punt team. Dockery back. Dockery back. back at his own 45 yard line on fourth and eight. Nine like the play here in the first quarter. Low snap, gets it off. Nice roll. Hit and dropped at the one or two yard line. Kilil Shagog outrunning the ball. Maybe I should give credit to John Lucia for Centennial. Nevertheless, we will see where they set up shop. First and 10 for Mission Viejo. Inside their five yard line. Calling it at the three. First and ten from their three. The ball given up the middle, a gain of about two yards across the five to the six yard line for Mission Viejo. White uniforms moving left to right here in the first quarter. Yellow helmet. Gabe Artiega will a stop for Centennial. So we will call it second and seven. Two receivers wide right. One receiver to the left. Split backfield, the pass incomplete. Through the hands. Monster. Went right through his hands on the far side. It will be third and seven for Mission Viejo. 8 20 to play here in the first quarter. Goose eggs on the scoreboard, 0 0. So the Jayhawks have a golden opportunity to stop Mission Viejo on this drive and get excellent field position. No pun intended, of course. I would never do that. Two receivers to each side, single running back behind the QB at third and seven. Centeno coming, pick up the pressure to pass. Complete, actually goes through one receiver, caught by the other receiver, but a flag is down. I'm not sure you can do that. It was tipped by a defensive player, but the offense player can catch it. I don't believe that's allowed. Khalil on the tackle for Centennial. 42 on the carry. Alex Sushek. Sushek, number 42 for Mr. Viejo. He's a junior. 5'9", 180 pounds. Artiega and on the tackle for the Golden Hawks. So he's been busy here in the first quarter. Darty. Left corner for Centennial. Trip right for Mission Viejo, 725 to play. Quarterback to throw the pass, complete in the far side. First down, out of bounds on the Mission Viejo side. Manning with the first down for MV. First and 10 for the Diablos as they keep this drive alive. This drive began at their own three yard line from Mission Viejo. Daughter with close coverage, backing off now. Trip right formation. Weaver Inside middle. handoff. Weaver across again. midfield into Centennial territory as a 49. Down by number 33, Dave Artiega. Artiega. 
making his presence felt for Centennial tonight. Coltley Paxson calling signals on defense for the Jayhawks. Second and four, four from Mission Viejo. Well, the ball on the left hash mark. Trip right formation, single running back behind the quarterback. 6.42 to play here in the first quarter. Jayhawks moving around on defense. Artiega was trying to time the count, uh, didn't time it properly. As against the Jayhawks offsides, that will cost them five. That might be a first down for Mission Viejo. Yes, it gives them a first down. First and 10 for the Diablos of a Jayhawk 44 yard line. 6-3-4 on the clock in the first quarter from Hawks Nest at Centennial High School in Northwest Bakersfield. Very nice August evening trip ride formation. Big man the ball carry. Little spin move to about the 35 yard line. Alex Sushek. Sushek running hard, busting his way up the middle. De Leon running and making the tackle for Centennial. We have a second and short situation for Mission Viejo. They are getting some momentum here on this drive. Second and short for Mission Viejo. Quarterback to throw. He loses the receiver. Throws on a run to the end zone. Picked off by Gordy. He decides to stay in the end zone for the touchback. Nice play by Doherty on defense. The pass was a little bit short by the quarterback. He played the ball very well and cut in front of the receiver at the end zone. Gets the INT. And for Centennial, smart job not to try to run it out and get tackled at the five yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Golden Hawks at their own 20 yard line. Andrew Doherty, wide receiver, defensive back, punter. The Golden Hawks makes a big play. That's what defense does for you. Two receivers for each side for Centennial. That play didn't go anywhere. Frazier. Met by a number of Diablos. We're having a devil of a time. Jackson Stoddard. Stoddard, Jackson Stoddard for Mission Viejo. Lose about two second and 12 with 520 to play here in the first quarter. So the Jayhawk defense came up with a big play. It was second and short for Mission Viejo and the quarterback decided to play action and throw and under through his intended target. And Doherty came up with a big play. I think a false start against Centennial. Or at least two guys were in motion on that. That whistle was blown very quickly by the officials. False start, Centennial. Back them up another five yards. It'll be a second down and 17 at the Centennial 13 yard line. Okay, for the Jayhawks, second and 17. Inside the 15 yard line. A loss of yards and running play, then the motion penalty there. Go back to throw very quickly. Doherty tackled at the 20 yard line immediately as he didn't get a chance to get going on a particular play. Back to the original line of scrimmage. Third down, third and 10. Third and 10 for Centennial. And their own territory at the 20 yard line.
Mission Viejo employing a three-man front on defense. Jihawks trip right formation. Quarterback to throw out of the backfield. The Frazier to swing it out. Flag is down. Cuts back 25 to the 30. 35-40 with some daylight. One man to beat. Midfield 50. Cuts back to the 40. To the 30-yard line. And dragged down from behind at the 23 in Mission Viejo territory. But you know what? They may bring this one all the way back. It almost looked like a lateral pass to Frazier in the backfield on the far side. Holding Centennial, bring it back. All that running for nothing. Frazier ran about 60 yards in that play and all for naught. What would be worse if he scored a touchdown and he had to bring it back? Three for nine to play in the first quarter. And no score between Centennial and Mission Viejo. After that final interception by Dorland in the end zone, the Centennial offense has not been flying high on this possession. They started at their own 20 yard line. They lost a couple of yards on running play, and then I think had a motion penalty, and then right here, the pass out of the backfield, which gains big yardage, but you bring it back and lose some. So now they're third and 20. Doherty, wide left for the Jayhawks. Andrew Hansen with him on the left side, ball on the right hash mark. So two receivers to each side. Quarterback keeper, Mission Viejo, up to the task. Clock up the middle. Fourth and long for Centennial. So Mission Viejo has a chance for excellent field position right now. As the Jayhawks will be punting from their own end zone. Three minutes plus to play here in the first quarter and no score between Centennial and Mission Viejo. Fourth and 25, so not a stupendous possession for Centennial after that great interception by Doherty. Andrew Daughtry will Daughtry. For Centennial. No, Daughtry will be punting from his own end zone. So he can't step back across the line because that would be a safety and give Mission Viejo two points. Is the punt off? It's high, but not too far. Not much distance. Hit a centennial player, and they down it at the 32-yard line. So the Diablos with excellent field position at the centennial 32-yard line. First and 10 with 2.18 to play in the first quarter. From Hawk's Nest at Centennial High School, Northwest Bakersfield, on PlayOnSports.com. Mission Viejo up quickly to the ball, first and 10 in Golden Hawk territory. Receiver wide to the right, with the ball left hash mark, I formation. Hand up up the middle, number 21. Running back stumbles up the middle, but gains Gets about three or four yards. Number 33, Gabe Arteaga at the bottom of making another tackle for Centennial. Ian Fieber, number five, a quarterback for Three Mission Viejo. Looking second down, second and a long five for Mission Viejo. Knocking on the Hawks Nest door. Or on the Hawks Nest, trying to knock it over. 145 to play, Fieber to throw. Kind of inside screen, doesn't do much. G Hawks, three players in pursuit. Very short gain to the Centennial 25. Arteaga have a great game for Centennial. And on that tackle, the man in the middle. Yes. 20 remaining in the first quarter. Score zero, zero. Two receivers wide right for Mission Viejo. On third and three, 112 to play in Jihawk territory. That should be a first down for the Diablos. Power move up the middle to the 20 yard line. 
Soon chuck of a first down for Mission Viejo. Suchesk, Vasquez on the stop for Centennial. First down, first and ten for Mission Viejo. Less than 50 seconds to play in the first quarter. No score from Centennial High School. One receiver wide to the left, two receivers wide right for Fever and Company. In, play action looking to his left. And the pass complete. First down far side. Out of bounds. Marks on the reception. First down. First and goal for Mission Viejo. So the clock stops at 32 seconds here in the first quarter. Mission Viejo on the Jihawk seven yard line. First and goal from the seven. Whistles abound. Timeout on the field. Timeout Centennial. 0-0. Zero, zero. Mission Viejo knocking on the door. Looking for seven, but might get three. But it's first and goal. From the seven-yard line. And Jihawk territory. Now I counted twice, but Mission Viejo showed 80 players on their football team, their football roster for the varsity. I'm not sure they brought all 80 here to the game, but that's quite a bit. 80. Man. Three and four deep. Having 60 players on the team is considered quite a bit. Even 50 isn't bad, but 80? That is magnificent. Football lives on at Mission Viejo. The Redwood Rangers will be here at the Hawks Nest next week, Centennial High School. Mount Whitney will not like that. At any rate, first and goal situation for Mission Viejo when we get back to action. Brian Nixon has had a tough first quarter, but his team is in the game 0-0. First game excitement. Been here 12 years. Ian Fieber, quarterback, I formation for Mission Viejo. Welcome to his running back. Cuts back to the five. Dives towards the end zone. Touchdown, Mission Viejo. Number 32, Daniel Marks. Daniel Marks, a power runner for Mission Viejo. He's going to bowl his way. Through the Jihawks defense. Dives for the touchdown. And a great number 32. Number 31 on to attempt the extra point. That is Zach Olson. He is 6'2, 230 pounds, Marks. That's a load. PAT. Line drive. It's up. It is good. Seven nothing mission Viejo. Zach Olson with a PAT from Mission Viejo. 26 seconds on the clock here in the first quarter. And 7-0 in favor of uh, Diablos. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're watching and enjoying here tonight? Tell your school to sign up for Play on Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, Go to playonsports.com slash s hyphen b hyphen p. School broadcast program. SBP. Well, this drive began at the Centennial 33-yard line. Now, the previous drive from Mr. Viejo began at their own three, and they moved it down to about the Centennial 30, but the quarterback threw an interception. Centennial got the ball back, but didn't do much with it. Short punt, and Viejo had a 33-yard drive with Marks, the touchdown, and Olsen with a PAT 7-0 here late in the first quarter. But you can't give an outstanding team a short field like that to work with.
Nice kickoff. Kick deep into the end zone. It is not returnable for Andrew Daughtry. Daughtry will not return it. Anytime the ball goes to the end zone in high school football, they don't return it. It goes to a 20. Not like it is in college and in pro football. Oh, the sound of football again. I love it. The bands. Yell leaders. Smell that grass. It's been a while. First and 10 for the Jayhawks. 25 ticks on the clock here in the first. Daughtry running across the field. But the Diablos converged on him very quickly. He ran left to right about 20 yards, but didn't run upfield. Probably loses one or two yards. This team is very fast on defense. Loss of one yard, second and 11. The first quarter comes to a conclusion. After one, it is Mission Viejo 7, Centennial Nothing on PlayOnSports.com. Your destination for high school sports. Well, the Jayhawks are hanging in there so far in tonight's game at home from the Hawks' nest at Centennial High School. Unfortunately, late in the first quarter, after a nice interception by Daughtry in the end zone, the Jayhawks had the ball thrown 20, didn't do anything with it. Then they had a short punt, which Daughtry loaded deep in his end zone to the 33 of Mission Viejo. Mission Viejo took advantage kind of uh, use some short passes and their hard running game lost by Marks, who bowled in from seven yards away. He's 6'2", 230. Then we have the PAT by Olsen with 26 seconds left, but you can't give an outstanding team such a short field to work with in any game. They're going to get seven, if not three. Jayhawks had a nice run by Frazier early in the game. That's been about it for them offensively. In fact, he had another play Midway through the first quarter, where he caught a pass going to his right from the quarterback and probably took it about 40 yards, but it was called back due to a penalty against Centennial. Since then, they've been very quiet offensively. But you can't let a call like that get you down. Second down for the Jayhawks. Quarterback keeper. Diablos with about three players converging on the tackle. 11.45 to play in the second quarter at 7 nothing Mission Viejo. Third and nine, third and a long eight for Centennial. Angor quarterback for the Jayhawks, number eight. Trip left formation for the Jayhawks. They haven't thrown that much for a team using a trip formation quite a bit. He hasn't had time to throw. A little screen to Frazier, 20 yard line, cuts back. Wow. Look at the pursuit by Mission Viejo on defense. They are quick to the ball. Atchison for Mission Viejo, 49. A lot of players. Starting for them tonight. From the Centennial 20 yard line, number 11, back we will select the player of the game tonight. Who knows what it could be? Might be a defensive player. It will be a player from the winning team. Bad snap. Doctor gets it off. High kick. G Hawk roll. Rolls about 12 yards and downed at the 29 yard line of Mission Viejo territory. Well, Dantry, who does it all for the Jayhawks, wide receiver, defensive back, punter. A 51-yard punt by Dantry. 51 yards on the punt, which is great for the average.
10 to 6 on the clock here in the second quarter. Centennial has zero, Mission Viejo seven. And they with the ball moving right to left here in the second quarter. White uniforms, yellow helmets, a little bit of red trim. G Hawks, red jerseys, gold pants, red trim, gold helmets, and red and white trim. Fever to the throw. Over the middle of the pass, knocked down. Anger. So it's quarterback on offense, DB on defense. Nice play. Double coverage for the Jayhawks in that area. A couple of Ian's passes have been underthrown. Throws a nice looking football, though. But the Jayhawks have been up to the task on a couple of those longer pass plays. Daughtry with an interception in the end zone early in the game. Second and 10. Quick move on number 42. He has a first down before it's pushed back from Mission Viejo across the 40-yard line. So he shook the ball carry, holding against Mission Viejo. Bring it back. So chest run with a burst of energy for Mission Viejo. 10-13 on the clock here in the second quarter. It will be second and long for Mission Viejo. Back inside their 25-yard line. Let's see what the Jayhawks can come up with right here. Maybe come up with a big play, get the football back. Mission Viejo from the southern section, Centennial from the central section. The pass complete to the far side. Number three breaks a tackle or two across the 35 to about the 38. 19 yard pickup. Very close to the Diablo first down. Monster number three for Mission Viejo. Keeping his feet busy. And it'll be third and short for the Diablos. On the far side, right hash mark. 9.30 to play here in the second quarter. Mission Viejo third and three against the Jayhawks defense. Four man front. Quick snap. The officials didn't like it. Flags were flying. Officials time. Officials timeout. I guess the officials needed more time to set it up. Now another quick whistle, and here come the flags again. So on back-to-back -back plays, the team's a little bit out of sync. It is the first game of the year, week zero. So it goes from third and three to third and eight for Mission Viejo. In their own territory at the 32-yard line. Coaches hate that. A third and three is a running situation. Third and eight, not quite the same. Triple left formation for the Diablos. Fever looking over the defense. Slant pattern complete, 45. Receiver stays on his feet into Centennial Golden Hawk territory. First down for Mission Viejo. De Leon. First down from Mission Viejo. Move those chains. The clock shows 847 here in the second quarter. Schnicker. Call out reception and run. 835 to play in the second quarter. Triple up formation for Mission Viejo. With the ball on the right hash mark. Single running back behind Ian Fieber. Give up the middle, 42, rumbling forward. There he goes again. Sushex, Allen from Mission Viejo, bulldozing his way off the right side for nice yardage. 
going through the Jihawk defensive front. Holding against Mission Viejo. And face mask penalty against Centennial. Offsetting penalties. Let's do it over. So on this possession, Mission Viejo has gotten somewhat sloppy. And that has helped Centennial. The ball is back to midfield. And we will do it again first and ten. 8.24 on the clock in the second quarter. And triple up formation for Mission Viejo. One running back behind Fieber. As Marks has the ball, hit and dropped immediately. Evie Bailey in the backfield. That's the running back before he got the ball. And that running back was 230 pounds. Eby. With a great penetration on defense, smelled it out. Second and 10 for Mr. Viejo. Down to your right corner, number 80. Adam Lopez, your left corner for Centennial. A little play action. In. Because of pressure, he's down. Sack job for Centennial. Nice pressure by the Jihawks on defense. EB was back there, joined by a few of his friends. Artier calling defensive signals, number 33 for Centennial. Third and 19. Favor to throw, hit and dropped again. EB Bailey, number six. A sack there, and dropped that big running back two plays ago for a two-yard loss. Evie making things happen for the Golden Hawks. 5-7-187, the nose guard. And he gets down low. Dontre back to receive for Centennial. Fourth and long for Mission Viejo. Nice snap. Beautiful punt. Drives Dontry back to the 15. Over the shoulder catch. Fumbles the ball, falls on it. At his own 24 yard line. Check that 19 yard line on the far side. First and 10 for the Jihawks. Almost a costly fumble by Dontry. After an excellent defensive stance by the Golden Hawks. Specifically, E.B. Bailey. Kind of like shot out of a cannon there. Two of those three plays. You don't have to be big to play football. He's tough. He's 5'7", but he gets down very low. But he needs some of the offensive linemen. He's very quick. Can bust his way through the gaps. First and 10 for the Golden Hawks. Trip right formation. Inger to throw. Here comes the pressure, and they throw him down. He hasn't had much time to throw in this game. Josh Taylor, lassoing Inger, throwing him to the turf. Called second and 16. 5.45 of the clock here in the first half. Mission Viejo 7, Centennial nothing on playonsports.com. Your destination for high school sports. Daughtry, wide right. We have a man slot right to receive his wide left. Inger from the shotgun. Gives the ball to his running back, maybe Frazier. Here comes the flag from the far side. I would guess holding. Officials discussing it. Holding. Jihawks. That will be half the distance to the goal line. 
They're down 7-0 with 526 to play. So the Jayhawks are in the situation where they have to do something with this football. Otherwise, they're going to get a great field position to Mission Viejo. And the Diablos are up 7 0. The Jayhawks simply can't throw against Mission Viejo. The pressure is too much from the up front people of MV. You have so many receivers going out, no protection. Inger to throw. Why to his intended receiver, Adam Lopez. He might have been hearing footsteps that time. Third and 21. So definitely a passing situation here. Will they run the draw or try to pass downfield? Coaches don't normally like to pass from their own end zone when they are down 7 to nothing in a game. But it is third and 21, 5 to 1 to play in the first half. Mission Viejo 7, Centennial nothing. Lopez, wide right. Inger QB. They have a man in motion. There's a snap. A little draw. Frazier to the 10. Cuts back 15, 20 yard line. Across the original line of scrimmage. But it's fourth down and punting time for Dottry and Centennial. So Frazier had some light there. But he needed a lot. He needed 21 yards of daylight. Got about 11 yards. Daylight at nighttime. Fourth down and 12. Fourth and 12 for the Jayhawks. Five minutes to play in the first half. They would like to stay within seven points here at the half if they can. Pesek, Ryan Pesek, the deep man. Fair catch. At his own 45-yard line, number 11 for Mission Viejo. 4-4-5 four, four, on the clock here in the second quarter. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash play on hyphen network. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Okay, first and 10 for Mission Viejo, trip left. The pass complete. Not much there. Sean Monster. Short gain of about two yards for Mission Viejo. Short pass. To the Centennial sideline at 4.20 to play in the first half. The G Hawks down 7 0 to Mission Viejo of the Hawks Nest at Centennial High in Northwest Bakersfield. Three man front for Centennial. Pitch back. He goes Sushek. First down and more 40, 35, 30. He will take it to the house. 10 5. Touchdown, Mission Viejo. Alex Suchas, what a run. He runs with power and with speed. Eight yard touchdown. Correction, 52 yard touchdown. Alex 52 yard touchdown jaunt for Alex. 5'9, 180 pound junior. He wants to be player of the game. 13 0 Mission Viejo. Big time play. For the Diablos. Kick by Olsen up and good. 14 0 Mission Viejo. With four minutes to play in the first half against Centennial. That quieted down the Centennial crowd, that long touchdown run.
So a couple of touchdowns for Mission Viejo tonight. One by Marks and this one by Suchess. Marks was about seven yards. This one, 52 yards by Alex off the right side. Showed some burst of energy through that hole. Then the acceleration to get into the open. Once he hit the 30, he was gone to the races. He was out of here like a baseball flying out of Yankee Stadium. Mission Viejo will kick it off. 14 nothing lead. Frazier, 15, 20-yard line, cuts back, 25, and to about the 27-yard line. First and 10 for the Golden Hawks at their own 27-yard line. 3-4-8 on the clock here in the first half. 14 nothing Mission Viejo. Down to a wide left for Centennial. Trip right formation for the Golden Hawks. With the ball in the right hash mark. Inger and company. Inger. Pitch back. Frazier. Cuts back. Doesn't go anywhere. Maybe a gain of a yard. Against a very fast and speedy. Quick. MV defense. Excellent defensive team. Zach Holland, 6'3", 235 pound defensive player for Mission Viejo. 336 on the clock. 14 nothing Mission Viejo over the Jayhawks. So Centennial, now second and nine, would like to gain a first down or two and keep the ball away from Mission Viejo before the conclusion of the first half. Easier said than done. They haven't round the ball that effectively. And they certainly haven't passed out efficiently, Centennial. Inger simply hasn't had time to throw. Well, the defensive front for Mission Viejo has done a great job getting in his face. And they have run down the receivers for the Jayhawks and also the running backs. Very fast, tenacious defensive team. A southern section power, 10 and 3 last year, 4 and 0 in the South Coast League. The Jayhawks were 6 and 5 overall, and 3 and 2 in the Southwest Yosemite League. With an almost upset victory against Bakersfield High School. Almost. But almost doesn't count. Only in everybody's mind. False start Centennial. Now, this is the mental aspect of the game that Centennial has to be concerned about. Give up a long touchdown run. We're playing very well throughout the first quarter. Didn't take advantage of a nice interception by Daughtry. Had a short punt, down 7 nothing. The long touchdown run kind of took something out of them. But uh, you're tired. It's your first game of the year. You're down 14 nothing. You're not doing much against a great team. And this is a stage where you just really have to look within yourself and play hard and execute. Still have two quarters to go after this, after the half. Second down, second and 15 for the Jayhawks. Second down and 15 at the Golden Hawks. Receivers to each side. Frazier in the backfield with Inger. Frazier's in motion. We've had a lot of penalty flags over the past 30 minutes. Motion penalties against Centennial. Legal formation, Golden Hawks. Legal formation, sometimes two guys in motion. Down in from the line. And then cannot get any type of flow going on offense. Out of sync. The Jayhawks moving left to right here in the second quarter. Second down, second and 20 now. Frazier in motion. Inger calling signals. Quarterback keeper. Inger on the keeper. Met by number 
Gets across the 20 to about the 22 yard line. And not much farther than that. Takupu making the tackle for Mission Viejo. A four yard gain and third and 16 for Centennial. They have definitely been shut down by the Mission Viejo Diablos defense. And Mission Viejo doesn't have a devil may care attitude. So I'm moving second quarter here tonight from Hawks Nest and Centennial High, especially since the midway point. A lot of penalties, uh, incomplete passes, so the game is somewhat dragged here lately. On a warm but somewhat balmy evening in Northwest Bakersfield. A few other games in the Bakersfield area. Stockdale is hosting Foothill tonight in southwest Bakersfield. Bakersfield Christian is home against Ontario Christian, also in the southwest. We have, we have a few more games. Oh, we have a, a big game, Ridgeview at Frontier, not far from this location, northwest Bakersfield. Eager to throw under heavy pressure, throws it incomplete. Well, he was hit by two or three Diablos. He just can't even set up the throw. They are coming with their ears pinned back. That's the problem when you have three and four receivers going out. You don't have the blockers for the quarterback. And Inger is taking some hits back there as he walks off the field very slowly. Fourth and 16 for the Golden Hawks. Daughtry punting. Zone five, bad snap. And they block it. It goes straight up in the air and takes a Mission Viejo roll. Wow. But partially blocked. Be down by it was a poor snap to Doctor. He barely got it off. The ball partially blocked. So he had a 50 something yard punt. This one probably goes about less than five yards. Not his fault. So you have two punts there for about 55 yards. Your average is about 27 and a half. That snap, had to pick it up like a shortstop. And one thing about Mission Viejo, you make a mistake against them, they're going to be on you. They are very quick to the ball. Special teams, defense, that ball is on the turf, on the ground. One of the players is going to be close to it. So a golden opportunity for Mission Viejo. Inside the Jihawks 20-yard line. Three left to play. Affirmation for Fieber and Company. Number two, the ball carry. 15. Slices his way to about the 12. Went right through a little Chagog for Centennial. He tried an arm tackle there. Seven yard gain, second and three. So Viejo, after the partially blocked punt, smoking again. High behind Ian, pitch back. Same ball carry. Close to the five yard line. It'll be first down for Mission Viejo. Marcus Collins, the ball carrier. And a break for Centennial, holding against Mission Viejo. With 2.24 on the clock here in the second quarter. Maybe a momentary break. Marks Suchet have scored for Mission Viejo tonight. Marks from seven, Suchet from 54 yards, 52 yards away. And they are knocking on the Hawks' nest again. Two receivers wide left, two to the right. In Fieber, looking over the D. Longer count to throw. To the end zone. Touchdown, Mission Viejo. Nice throw and catch. Number 
Andrew Schur is going up the ladder for that reception. Number 17 for Mission Viejo. And the third touchdown of the evening. Olsen comes in to kick. So they have extended that lead. They're trying to make it 21 points right now. Right through the uprights by Olsen. Wow. 155 to play in the first half. Mission Viejo 21, Centennial nothing. The Hawks Nest at Centennial High School. Two running plays for a touchdown. This one of the air variety. Andrew Shores. So Mission Viejo pitching a shutout here this evening. Leading by 21 points over Centennial High School. And they're kicking off right to left here late in the second quarter. Well, it has been a long quarter for Centennial and for its fans. Some poor field position by Centennial. And a lot of uh, penalties have hurt them. You have the block punt, which uh, sets up Mission Viejo deep into Golden Hawk territory. And on the first drive, they started at the G Hawk 33 yard line after a somewhat short punt by Daughtry. This time, he has punt blocked. They were inside of the 20 yard line. So, like I said, you give a short field to a very good football team. It is going to prove disastrous for you. And the touchdown between was a 52 yard run. So the Jayhawks trying to get to halftime without further damage. Mission Viejo not looking old tonight. Quarterback keeper, Inger. Nice run. Drags tacklers. Man, he's close to a first down. They were trying to rip the football out of his hands. He said, no way. I'm just going to do it myself. First down for Centennial. Inger showing his... Leadership ability false start going on. of G-Hawks, now false start against Centennial. 6'2", 215-pound senior, Inger. We'll call it first and 15 for the G-Hawks in their own territory at the 20-yard line. Coach Nixon says, let's go. Let's pick it up. Flip right. Inger, rolling to his right. Here comes the pressure. On Loza down the right sidelines, incomplete. Just over the outstretched arm for number five. Jose De Leon, the intended receiver. Number 11 on the coverage for Mission Viejo, that is Ryan Pesic. Pesic, the closest to the ball, he was from Mission Viejo. Second and 15 for Centennial, 106 to play here in the second quarter. Second down and 15. Weak, zero action. Bakersfield High is playing at Ventura tonight. VHS 13-0 and zero last year. The number one team in the CIF Central Section Division One. They're looking for an undefeated season this year. They want to make it to a state bowl game. Give up the middle to number four, Noah Frazier. Frazier met by, met by many Diablos. Derek Murrieta. Murrieta, one of them from Mission Viejo. 
The Jayhawks having trouble running, having trouble passing tonight against a very stout defense from Southern California. 35 seconds to play in the first half. Centennial taking its time. Down 21-0. Third and 18. They don't want to punt in this situation. They'd like this to be the last play of the first half. As we have two receivers to each side. With the ball on the left hash mark. And the shotgun. Inger for Centennial. Gives it to Frazier. Off the right side. 30 to the 33. Nice gain of about seven yards as the clock is winding down here in the first half. Somebody's actually calling a timeout. Probably on Mission Viejo. They want the football back. They want to block a punt or return a punt for a touchdown. Coach Johnson and company always wanting more. Well, if they have the timeout to take, they might as well do it. But people don't like it, but two seconds left. The Mission Viejo has 21, Centennial has nothing. And there's a non-conference game from Centennial High School, the Hawks' Nest. The Hawks not flying high this evening. They're flying under the radar. No, they put it, they added a second to it. It's three seconds left. At any rate, it'll be the final play of the first half. So Dottery's had one pen over 50 yards. Another one was less than 30. His last one partially blocked was probably about three or four yards. So his average has not been that spectacular tonight, even though he's a good punter. The last one was a bad snap. Inger to throw. Hit. The ball incomplete. incomplete pass that will As they were going for on fourth down. After two quarters of play from the Hawks Nest at Centennial High School, it is Mission Viejo 21, Centennial nothing. You're watching high school football on PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. We'll be back in a few moments with a PlayOnSports.com halftime show. Don't go anywhere. It's Friday Night Football on PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to come at you. One shot at this. Three sixteen left to go in this ball game. I formation, third and three from the 45 of the Wolverines. And this time, holy cow! Dion almost hands it to the Westview player. He's gonna run this to the 5-10. Touchdown, Wolverines! How did that happen? Jason that was Snyder. Holy cow! He was in the backfield before the running back could even get the handoff. He took the handoff from he Dion. He took the ball right out of Dion's hands and just <laughs> Holy cow! Can't say I've seen that one very often. Snyder comes shooting in from the A-gap. I think Dion froze when he saw him. He's ready to hand off to his running back. He froze when he saw him and just hand, let him have the ball. 12 seconds to go. Oh, you could hear a pin drop. Five, four, three, two, get the snap off. Last play of the game. Brewster rolls right, gets away from two sacks. Dons win, sack at the 20-yard line. What a game. And number 40, Lucas Zinder with the game-saving sack. And there is heartbreak on one sideline and a jubilation on another. Offset eye for the Grizzlies as Keeney takes it under center. They'll send a man in motion, pitch back to Bird on the sweep. Bird finds a seam. He might go, folks. 20, 15, 10. Drags a tackler. Touchdown! Bird goes 38 yards 
for the touchdown on the sweep. One more snap is all it's going to take, and there you have it, folks. Your 2011 Division I Sack Joaquin section champions, the Granite Bay Grizzlies, as they defeat Pleasant Grove 30 to 24. Jacqueline Williamson, her serve is over, dug by Holt. Giblin going back to Holt near side, cut shot, kept alive, back in one by Cathedral, and this one is out as Caston on Hill sends it wide, and the Cathedral Dons have won the title 16-14 in game five. Thomas with the ball, swings it out to Norris. Cameron Taylor tried to block that one away. Norris with a strong take, blocked by B.J. Anya. Huge block, Robinson leading the break the other way, gets it to Grant, oh. slam dunk Jeremy Grant off the feed from James Robinson. What a play by the Stag. Runner at third is Chavez, eight to two the score. Bottom of the seventh, the one two. Popped in the air, this should do it. Corda Posse says it's mine. Now he's fading on it. And he can't make the catch, but Gaff comes in from center field and does. Congratulations to the St. Mary's Rams, a three-peat. They win it eight to two against Franklin to take the series two games to none. But this is time to run an offensive set that you've done all through the season in practice. Yeah. And you also, you know, you get it to your to your hottest player right now, just like they're getting it to Eichhorst right here. He's going to try to create some space, find somebody on the backside that's open. Eichhorst flush out to the right. Oh, breaks free of a player. Eichhorst on his own, shoots and scores, bounces the shot home. Kuz can't handle the shot. Eichhorst takes off the shirt and the helmet. And how about that? Alex called it. Eichhorst, after sustaining the injury in the third quarter of play, has scored the game winner with 22 seconds gone in the overtime period. Dogpile on the field. Marin Academy take it. A fantastic finish to this game. And, well, I hope his other ankle isn't hurting after this. Hancock to his immediate left. Two receivers far side, one near side. Hancock on a counter, right side. He's inside the 10. He bounces off a tackler at the 10. The 5. Touchdown, Helix. And behind Hancock, the field is littered with white jerseys on the turf. Wow. Hancock not to be outdone by his fellow uh, <laughs> playmakers on offense. Put on a show on that short 12-yard touchdown run. Looked like he was down after three yards. Just threw a defender on the ground. As sophomore Chris Carter sets under center. In their tight wing formation, Lagos in motion. Second back through is Freeman. Freeman just knocking people over. Look at him run. Breaks through. Four tackles. And now it's just a foot race to the end zone. And Freeman's going to go the distance. Touchdown, Imperial, on the first play of the second half. Second and six for Imperial from their own 47. They're going to give it to Freeman again off the right, left side. And Freeman gets by one wave and down across the 20, 40 yard line. Still on his feet. Look at him run down to the 20 yard line. One man to beat. Gets by him. Touchdown, oh Freeman. How did he do that? Holy cow. 64 yard touchdown run. His fifth of the game. Royce Freeman, ladies and gentlemen, you're about to see the top rushing and the, <laughs> as I look over to our partners at KXO Radio, the top rusher wow. in the San Diego section for the next two years. That's just amazing. That is just amazing. They hit him in the backfield. They hit him at the line of scrimmage. They hit him a couple yards downfield. They hit him again near the goal line. Keep those Lowell fans quiet over there. Lum sets it up for Peng. Long, it's out. Low, a magnificent seven titles in the San Francisco section in dramatic style as they pull out a fantastic victory over a spirited Galileo Lions team. They win the fourth game, 31-29, and they take the 2012 Academic Athletic Association San Francisco section title. Officials say no five-second count can be started. Nobody was close enough defensively. Lyle's going to swing left side, Robinson. Here is a backdoor lob there for Grant. They've been wanting that all game. 
And they got it, 50-42. They lulled you to sleep, and then they hit Grant on the back door. They trail by two. McMorrow's kick is on the way, and it is good. good. St. Augustine has their first lead of the game, 21 to 20, with 25 seconds to play. The senior McMorrow with a huge kick, not the longest of his career, but the biggest of his career. Oh, St. Augustine leads it 21 to Already lining up. They won't even have to run that one more play. They just acquiesce. Yeah, why Here bother? So there you have it. Your five-time defending Division Three champions, the Cathedral Catholic Dons, running up over and through Olympian 41 to nothing here from Qualcomm Stadium. Patriots down 21-17. Great ball game here. Dylan taking it, looking right, throwing it up top to Gaines. It will be caught by Gaines. Oh, my goodness. It looked like the defender had it, but Gaines stole it away from him. Jason Gaines, are you kidding me, my friend? Oh, boy. It looked like for sure we had an interception by the Tories, but as they both were going to the ground, Jason Gaines just wrestled it away from him. Shane Dillon to Jason Gaines on an 11-yard play. Fanchin in the game, now out, replaced by Hayashi, the libero for defense. Wenzel serve, championship point, ball up in the air. Hayashi's going to bring it back. Richards, deep one over and three. Free opportunity. Look for Wallace. No, they go Becker. Hayashi, then tap over and two by Hollingsworth. Now look for Wallace for the match. Kathleen Wallace, no better way for the Bulls to finish it than giving it to their senior leader. 25-12, 25-15, eight straight points to close out their third straight D5 championship on a kill by Kathleen Wallace. 25-21 in game three. Branson has won the D5 title. To the backfield, it's Hernandez and Northcutt. Set to throw is Thomas, has time, goes for the home run. It's intercepted in the end zone. Seemed like it, they tried to go to Martin, and Martin slipped. Stockton, Hillmore and Escalon. That's going to do it, folks. Victory formation, take a kneel. The clock comes out. The clock will tick down the players jumping up at midfield. I think I see a, a Gatorade. Did, did we have a Gatorade shower? Uh, we most certainly did. Casey Taylor getting the shower there. Very much deserved. Down to 12. Great tackle there by Ronald Williams there to make the stop for Helix. And the Helix fans are starting to celebrate here. This is going to be the final play. Five seconds. Pow Pow will hand it off. And they're going to get in the end zone. Touchdown. That's Keegan who gets in, but that's going to be the end of the ball game. 44 to 6 will be the score. So Oceanside scores on the final play of the ball game. And gets a consolation prize just to, to make this is kind of say that, hey, we didn't get shut out. So 44 to 6 is your score. And Helix is celebrating on the sideline, Oceanside streak of seven straight championship games has been ended. Two minutes and five seconds left on the clock. Clock rolling, third down and 15 for the Patriots. Dylan, he's got time, steps up. He's going to chuck it deep. He's got a man open. Seth Collins with a diving catch. He hauls it in at the 25. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you right there. Dylan goes to show why he is a Division I prospect as he's able to step up elude the pressure, see Collins down the field, and make the connection as, I'll tell you right now, there has not been a bigger catch for Seth Collins this entire season. Fans nervously wait on the far. Welcome to the PlayOnSports.com halftime show. Coming to you live from Centennial High School's Hawks Nest in Bakersfield, California. I'm Mark Heffernan. Our halftime score is Mission Viejo, 21, Centennial, nothing. This game, it has been all Mission Viejo. They have scored three touchdowns tonight. The first came after a short punt by Andrew Daughtry. 
the punter and wide receiver defensive back for Centennial. Mission Viejo took the ball off the Jihawk 33-yard line and within about five plays, Marks, a big fullback, 6'2", 235-pounder, bull his way into the end zone from seven yards away. Zach Olson had a PAT. This was in the first quarter with 26 seconds left, and it was 7-0 Mission Viejo. In the second quarter, it was kind of tough for Centennial. In fact, uh, they were in the game playing very well, but Alex Sushesk broke off the right side for a 52-yard touchdown. The PT was good by Olsen, and at that point, four minutes to play in the second quarter, it was Mission Viejo 14 and Centennial nothing. Now the Jayhawks are trying to get into halftime, only being down by two touchdowns, but on a fourth down play, there was a bad snap to their punter, Andrew Daughtry. His punt was partially blocked by a couple of Mission Viejo Diablos, went straight into the air. He probably was credited with about a three-yard punt, and the Diablos had the ball in great field position deep inside Centennial territory, inside the 20-yard line. Moments later, Ian Thieber, the quarterback, hit Andrew Shores for a touchdown on the right side of the end zone. The PAT was good by Zach Olson, and suddenly it was Mission Viejo 21 and Centennial nothing. So, and two of the three scores by Mission Viejo, that was as a result of great field position. One drive was 33 yards, and the other was less than 20 yards. You cannot do that against a great team, a southern section power by, like Mission Viejo. And that's why Centennial's down by three touchdowns here in the first half. The Jayhawks have not run the ball effectively. They have not passed the ball efficiently in this game. Mission Viejo's had a fantastic defensive front. They're very quick to the ball. Excellent speed on D. They run the corners very well right to left, left to right. And they are very good up front. Stout against a run. Engel, the quarterback from Centennial, simply has not had time to throw the football. When you have three and four receivers going out, it kind of limits your protection up front. And he has been hit and hit hard, especially late in the second quarter. We will see what happens in the second half. That will do it for the PlayOnSports.com halftime show. Friday Night Football will return in just a few moments with the start of the second half right here on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. Three sixteen left to go in this ball game. I formation, third and three from the forty five of the Wolverines. And this time, holy cow! Dion almost hands it to the Westview player. He's going to run this to the 5 10. Touchdown, Wolverines. How did that happen? Jason that was Snyder. Holy cow. He was in the backfield before the running back could even get the handoff. He took the handoff from he Dion. He took the ball right out of Dion's hands and just. <laughs> Holy cow. Can't say I've seen that one very often. Snyder comes shooting in from the A gap. I think Dion froze when he saw him. He's ready to hand off to his running back. He froze when he saw him and just hand, let him have the ball. 12 seconds to go. Oh, you could hear a pin drop. Five, four, three, two. Get the snap off. Last play of the game. Brewster rolls right, gets away from two sacks. Dons win, sack at the 20-yard line. What a game. And number 40. Lucas Zinder with the game-saving sack. And there is heartbreak on one sideline and a jubilation on another. Offset eye for the Grizzlies as Keeney takes it under center. They'll send a man in motion. Pitch back to Bird on the sweep. Bird finds a seam. He might go, folks. 20, 15, 10. Drags a tackler. Touchdown! Bird goes 38 yards for the touchdown on the sweep. One more snap is all it's going to take, and there you have it, folks. 
your 2011 Division I Sac Joaquin section champions, the Granite Bay Grizzlies, as they defeat Pleasant Grove 30 to 24. Jacqueline Williamson. You're watching PlayOnSports.com's presentation of high school football live from Bakersfield, California. I'm Mark Heffernan. The score is Mission Viejo 21, Centennial High School nothing. As we get ready to start the second half of action, it has been all MV in the first half. Taking advantage of some great field position opportunities to score two touchdowns. One drive started from the Centennial 33 and the other inside the Jihawk 20-yard line after a partially blocked punt. A 33-yard drive began with a short punt from the end zone by Daughtry, and the in-between score came on a 52-yard run by Alex Sushesk, which right now is in my top category for player of the game. Even though Mission Viejo has a lot of stars on defense, it will be a tough choice. He is the guy so far, but you can name a lot of guys in their team for player of the game. We'll see what transpires in the second half of action. I try to read my thesaurus from time to time. So we're about a minute away from the second half. Mission Viejo came out in the second half more determined than Centennial. I look at a team's gestures when they come out to see if they are mentally prepared to play or not. And MV looks like they want to play more than Centennial at this point. That's probably why they're up 21 nothing. But remember, in football, you play two halves, four quarters. And you are never out of it. Jayhawks just have to come up with some big plays. Have to create some turnovers and come up with some big plays on offense. Maybe special teams. Easier said than done, but that's why we play the game. Inger warming up on the sidelines for the Jayhawks. Reagan Inger, senior quarterback for Centennial. In the third quarter, Mission Viejo will be moving right to left across your TV internet dial, playonsports.com. In the white jerseys, yellow helmets, red letters, red trim, etc. Centennial red jerseys, gold pants, gold helmets, red and white trim. And for the most part, red socks. And number 23, Ismael Asenis. Correction, number 23, Frank Schnicker. And number 11, Ryan Pasek. Frank Schnicker, one of the deep men for Mission Viejo. He got a reception and a nice run in the first half for the Diablos. So Centennial kicking off here, moving left to right in the third quarter. Down by three scores. Andrew Dantry, number 80, doing honors for the Jayhawks of Brian Nixon. Bob Johnson leads the staff of Mission Viejo. That kick goes into the end zone. First and 10 for Mission Viejo at their own 20-yard line after the touchback. Leading by three scores, 21 nothing, three touchdowns. They could be leading, leading by nine points after three field goals, and that, in essence, would be three scores, if you want to get specific about it. So let's see what MV does here to start the third quarter. Manning wide left in fever. Play action rolling to his right. Looking downfield. The pass complete. Manning, 40, midfield 50. Hit and drop from behind after a first down. Dodgeway with the tackle. Not before Tommy Manning picked up a first down for Mission Viejo. Well executed play by the Diablos. Especially the quarterback Ian Fever. Rolling to his right on the run as it hits a fleet-footed receiver. 
As the receiver runs it another 20 yards or so for a first down. They're in Jihawk territory at the 43. Receivers to each side. Inside handoff. Another inside handoff gains nice yards for Mission Viejo. Number 51, AJ Lucan on the tackle. Collins, 183 pound running back. Gain of about six yards. Second and four for Mission Viejo. On the move again. At the 32 of Centennial Territory. Level of five to play in the third. They're trying to wear down that Golden Hawk defense. It's against the Diablos. False start. False start. Cost them about five yards, second down. Second and nine for the Diablos. Ian Fieber, number five quarterback. The receiver is wide right with the ball in the middle of the field. Centena showing blitz, backs off. Fieber comes to the defensive end, throws quickly. Pass complete, very short game. Close to the Mission Viejo sideline. That was a nice reception by Marks. Kind of stretched out to make that dive and grab, a la Chris Carter. Call it third down, third and seven for Mission Viejo. Triple formation for the Diablos. Schnicker wide left. Fieber to throw. Straight up mill. A pass complete. First down, far side to the Jihawk 26 yard line. Manning, tackled by Adam Lopez. Fieber looking sharp coming out here in the second half. Going via the air in the third. First down. So they are running through the Jihawks. Now they're passing over them. First and 10 from outside the 25 yard line for Mission Viejo. As they run a triple left formation. Daughtry, right corner for Centennial. Fieber. Other side, pass complete, out of bounds. Manning again. Manning's had a nice drive. He wants to be player of the game. Everybody does. Generally, to be player of my game, you have to score a touchdown unless you're on defense. You make about 20 tackles. Second down and four at the Golden Hawks 21. If you have a score over 25 yards, it's definitely a plus. 9.25 to play, third quarter. Movement on the line. Was it the defense? Was it the offense? Well, Jihawks hope it's against Mission Viejo. Offsides against Centennial. Against the defense. That might give Mission Viejo a first down. Or at least be close to it. It is a first down, right? Chain gang, not sure what to do. As they're confusing me on this week zero game. Yeah, they're setting up first and ten. Faber and Company in the right hash mark from Mission Viejo. Inside the 20-yard line to 17. Sushek, a little spin move. Inside the 10 to the 8. 52-yard touchdown run in the first half. He's done a good job tonight. He is quick off the ball. Five-nine, 189-pounder. Alex. Two receivers to each side for Mission Viejo. 8.55 to play. A man is in motion. Favorite QB. Looks to his right. Rolling in that direction. Fakes. Takes himself to the five. Tries to dash his way into the end zone. 
a little bit shy. Golden Hawks on defense being pushed backwards by the Diablo O. First and goal for Mission Viejo. Jack Harding checks in for Centennial, number 62 on defense, as he tries to plug that middle. Faber, QB. We have the I formation for Mission Viejo. Faber, running back, dives forward, touchdown, Diablos. The fourth touchdown of the game for Mission Viejo. They continue to roll. Daniel Marks with touchdown number two, both from short variety. So he has two scores. Sushes has one. He's been from close range. PAT is up and good by Zach Olson. Four for four tonight. You can't beat that. 8.20 to play in the third quarter. It is Mission Viejo 28, Centennial nothing. On PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. And your destination tonight is Northwest Bakersfield. The home team is taking it on the chin, taking it on the wings. The Golden Hawks of Centennial. Last year, it was in the 35, Centennial 6. This year, Mission Viejo 28, Centennial nothing at home in Bakersfield. That is your 2012-2013 Golden Hawk cheerleaders. For Noah Frazier, number 80, Andrew Dockery back to receive for the Golden Hawks. So Marks with a couple of touchdowns from Mitchell Viejo. Sushes with a score from 52 yards away. Then we had a receiving touchdown. A lot of fine players in D for MV. It will be tough to pick a player of the game, that's for sure. Nobody with a turnover, though, for the defense yet. Well, they had a blocked punt, that's for sure. Dodge right to the 20, 25 yard line, spins around, and thrown to the turf by the Diablos. Roach, and on the tackle for Mission Viejo. G-Hawks moving left to right here in the third quarter, down 28 nothing. Reagan Inger, quarterback from the shotgun. Triple off formation for Centennial with the ball in the right hash mark. Four-man front for Mission Viejo. Pass complete, little out pattern, complete. Daughtry gets away from one man. And moves forward to about the 34-yard line. When one Diablo misses you, there's about two or three other Diablos in that same area. Second and short for Centennial. Second down and one. With a shotgun, Inger. Frazier has the first down to the 40-yard line. Breaks to the outside, 45. Cross midfield into Mission Viejo territory. That's his second best play of the night. Wickfield on the tackle for Mission Viejo, but a first down for Centennial. Frazier getting the Centennial crowd on its feet for a while. Shotgun, anchor to throw. Right side lines, incomplete. He missed that one. Pisak was closest to it, number 11, the DB for Mission Viejo. Almost looked like he overthrew that pass. The senior quarterback, number eight. 
Second and ten for Brian Nixon's team. Bob Johnson's Diablos leading 20 nothing here from the Hawk's Nest in Northwest Bakersfield. Nice August evening in Beantown. Two up right formation for Centennial. Comes the flag from the defense. Somebody moved on the offensive line for Centennial. It'll cost them five yards. Not an opportune time for a penalty. Have a little drive going here. It was second and 10, it's now second and 15 yard line. Now they're back in their own territory at the 47 yard line. Angus looking for the call from Coach Nixon. Trip ride formation for the Jayhawks. Reagan Inger, play action, pass complete. Dottry out of the backfield, midfield 50, 45, cuts back, down to the 43, fumbles the ball, loose on the far side. Mission Viejo football. Like Dottry was going for extra yardage. He got whacked, the ball came loose. MV football. And they're on the territory at the 43 yard line. Fever, triple up formation for Mr. Vieira. Press from the back side and down. Larry Payne for Centennial, and on the quarterback with a sack number 32, Larry Payne. Big play from the blind side of Ian Fieber. It didn't look like the teams were set to play that time. Second and 17. Triple up formation for Mission Viejo. Fieber sets up. Inside screen incomplete. That ball was dropped. Glenn Hunter, the intended receiver, out of the backfield for Mission Viejo. He wouldn't have gone too far, though, on the play. Centennial had it locked down very well. Third down, third and 16 for Mission Viejo. Jayhawks making some changes on defense. 28 0 in favor of Mission Viejo, with 6 9 to play in the third quarter. And they have the football. Inside their own 40-yard line with a triple up formation. Fieber looking up the middle. Sets up. Throws a post pattern. Incomplete. Number three guarded by number three. Monster guarded by Adam Lopez. Three guarding three. A simple post pattern and very well guarded by Centennial. Fourth down for Mission Viejo. Down at 16. Now, Sean is monster, not mobster. Brady Andrew Dontry back to receive. Dontry back to receive for Centennial. Timeout, G Hawks. Want to make sure they have enough players on the field, special teams. Actually, they had 12 on the field. I just counted. So that would be a no no. You can't play with 12 players, only 11. Now, some teams try to get away with it, and they have in the National Football League. So the Jayhawks, after midway through the first quarter, have not really been in this football game, even though it was 7 nothing until about four minutes of playing the second quarter. It just seems like since the uh, last part of the first quarter, early second, 
they haven't been mentally up to the task against Mission Viejo. They had a, a bad snap, partial block punt, inside their own 20-yard line, recovered by Mission Viejo. They scored. The Diablos did on the pass play. 52-yard run by Alex for Viejo. Marks has scored twice, once in the first half, once in the second half from short range. With six minutes remaining in the and a great quarter. defensive effort for Mission Viejo. Score Mission Viejo 28, Golden Hawk 0, fourth and 16, Mission Viejo. Mission Viejo to punt. Nice Daughtry back deep, takes the ball on his own 20-yard line, going right, looking for a block. Far right, 25, cuts back, 30-yard line, stays in feet, 35, and pushes out of bounds. Alex Dodge with a fine return. There wasn't much there. He kind of just made it happen on his own. Well, G Hawks down by 28 points, 544 to play in the third. And their home opener on week zero on playonsports.com. Your destination for high school sports. Bakersfield High School is playing at Ventura High tonight. Now San Clemente, which knocked off Ventura last year in the playoffs, is in the same league as Mission Viejo, the South Coast League. I'd like to see BHS play Mission Viejo sometime in the future. They play uh, Long Beach Poly on the road, Cactus of Arizona. Ingram and Keeper, 40-45, midfield 50, first down, 45. Stings on his feet. Wow. Excellent run by Reagan Anger. The flag is down on the field at the 47-yard line in Mission Viejo territory. Anger showed a lot of speed on that round, cutback ability. Unfortunately, it's against Centennial. And that takes away that fine effort by the quarterback. Those penalties really hurt you, especially when you're trying to stay in a game and you're down by four touchdowns. You make a 20, 30-yard play, and it comes back. It happened on a fine run by Frazier earlier in the game, this time by Inger. Constantinus had three or four nice plays called back. That just really defeats you mentally, too, but you have to stick with it. 5-20 to play in the third quarter. 20-0, Mission Viejo. On the road at the Hawk's Nest. Trip right formation for Centennial. Brian Nixon yelling out signals for the G Hawks. Inger, shotgun, keeper, 45. Pulls his way to about the 48 yard line. Quarterback, keeper, second and two. Seems like they're trying that play more often here in the second half. Let the pressure come from the defensive front of Mission Viejo if you're Hinger. They rush from, from the outside. You just try to run to the middle. He's 6'2", about 205. He has some excellent size and speed. As long as Mission Viejo doesn't rush from the middle, he can run up the middle. Let the defensive ends come from the outside. That's where a lot of pressure has come on his backside as he's trying to pass. The man in motion for Centennial. Inger, quick, Daughtry, hit immediately to the 47, 48 yard line. That is Daniel Anderson. Number 49, nice hit for Mission Viejo. No gain on the play, it's going to bring up a third down and two. Anthonson for Mission Viejo. Third and two, they have so many players that have shined on D. With 347 to play in the third quarter. Four touchdown lead for the Diablos over the Golden Hawks. Centennial still in its own territory. Daughtry wide right, triple up formation for the G Hawks. Inger calling signals on the keeper, midfield 50. They try to rip the ball. Dives forward to about the 45. It should be a first down for Centennial. Yeah, that was proved to be effective for the Geox. 
Started on the stop for Mission Viejo. And go on keepers from the shotgun. Been an effective weapon for Centennial here in the second half. It's not going to score you touchdowns quickly, but it keeps the ball away from Mission Viejo. And maybe you can score a touchdown or two. Triple off formation for Centennial. With 2.50 on the clock here in the third quarter. You can go to Frazier, cuts back. Tripped up to about the 42 yard line. Nice piece of running. A little dance move there, which will work on the dance floor. So you think you've got talent, something like that. Zach on the stop from Mission Viejo. Had so many people shine on D. We have second and seven for Centennial. The clock is running, 2.20 here in the third quarter. Well, the ball off the Mission Viejo 42 yard line. Reagan Inger, quarterback number eight. The signal. Could drop, pass complete. Dot three. First down, side of 30. To about the 28 yard line. Quick snap. Inside slant. Yeah, you have to do quick plays against MV. Uh, just don't give you time to execute. Uh, Diablo's players on the field. In playing. First down for the Golden Hawks. Their best drive, I think, of the evening. Let's see if they can take it all the way down and score. It will do wonders for their psyche and for their confidence in this game. 158 to play in the third quarter. Do you want to watch more of your school's Great matchups like this game you're enjoying here tonight. Tell your school to sign up for a Play on Sports school broadcast program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash s hyphen b hyphen p s b p sports broadcast program. Playonsports.com, your destination for high school sports. Zach Holland, number 85, is your injured Mission Viejo player. He's had a few tackles tonight. Being helped off the field. Hopefully it's not a serious injury. Six three, two hundred thirty five pound junior linebacker. That's a big boy. Only about sixteen years old. The well, Jihawks in business, triple up formation. As Holland is being helped off the field. Centennial inside of the Mission Viejo 30 yard line for 28. Frazier in the backfield with Inger. Bad snap. Inger rolls to his left. That falls back to his right and complete. It could have been a major loss for Centennial. He unloaded it, and as usual, Mr. Viejo had a lot of people in his path. He just had to unload that one. We'll call it second and 10. Could have been second and 22 or so. Frazier number four in the backfield with Regan Inger for Centennial. Triple up formation. Lopez wide right. Four man front for Mission Viejo. A man in motion for Centennial. Inside handoff. Inside handoff. Kind of a delayed handoff to Frazier. Didn't go anywhere. Mission Viejo had great pursuit in the Centennial backfield. Jordan Dominguez. We call his name. Oh, Diablos. So this drive has stalled somewhat. Third down, third and 13, or third and 14. Back out of the Mission Viejo 32-yard line. Daughtry wide right. Frazier 
Inger in the backfield. Triple left formation. Inger looking left, steps up, throws it to the right, incomplete. Had to be a great catch by Daughtry. Diving, going out of bounds. Cannot quite make the play. Now it's fourth down for Centennial. But you know what? They have to go for it. Down 20 nothing, With 101 playing the third. You can't kick a field goal from this far away. No sense to punt. You want to keep the football. Fourth down and 14. Let's see what Inger can come up with. The QB from the shotgun. Daughtry wide right. Triple up formation for Centennial. G Hawks at fourth and 13. Daughtry to throw, steps up. To the end zone, incomplete. Daughtry double covered. He just threw that one away. Max Renfield, a 6'3", 200 pound defensive back. Formation Viejo back there. He has offers from about 25 to 30 universities, Renfield. He's a senior. Mission Viejo football, first and 10, 55 seconds left in the third. At their own 32 yard line. So he the ball carrier across the 40. First down. He still is my pick for player of the game. There's 11 yards there. This guy has a great average tonight. Now, Marks has a couple of touchdowns from short range of this guy. To me, makes a go for them. He has more speed and explosion. I formation. Fever QB. A little count. Success again. Look at that move. Midfield 50. Spin move to the 45. And another first down for Mission Viejo. Back to back first down runs for Alex. Love it. 11 yards followed by 12 yards. He gets any type of opening. He is gone. He is taking it to the house. He's like a burst. 5'9", 183. Able to throw. Pass incomplete. A little bit too high. Throwing to Manning. As he had to climb the ladder. Climb a high ladder, number four. After three from the Hawks Nest at Centennial High School, it is Mission Viejo 28, Centennial nothing on PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. We'll begin the fourth quarter of action here from the Hawks Nest at Centennial High School. Hawks around the outside, gains about three or four yards, close to the 40-yard line in Centennial territory. 28 nothing in favor of Mission Viejo. On the road in northwest Bakersfield. And they have led all the way. One score in the first, two in the second quarter, and one in the third. Sushesk, number 42. My pick to this point as player of the game. There's been a lot of fine players. There have been a lot of fine players in defense for Mission Viejo. I'm not sure one guy has stood out. So many. 
he stood out to me. In favor of the pass, complete to the 35-yard line, close to a first down for Mr. Viejo. They can run, they can pass. They have many weapons. Schnick of the receiver has about two or three receptions tonight, number 23. This definitely is a loaded team. They will have a fine season. 10-3 last year, 4-0 in the South Coast League. 80 players in a roster. Marks ran hard for a while and pushed back. But he looks like he picked up the first down. First and 10 for Mission Viejo. Inside the Jihawk 40-yard line. They're in the fourth quarter. Under 10 minutes and 30 seconds to go. Last year it was Mission Viejo 35, Centennial 6. This year, MV 28, Centennial nothing. And Centennial has not been in the red zone yet tonight. No pun intended. Sushesk of the middle, opening to the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Sushesk. Yeah, he has confirmed it. He's making me look good. Touchdown number two for him, and both from long distance against the tired and worn out Centennial defense. Up the middle, breaks to the outside. He has daylight. He takes it to pay dirt. 34 0. Zach Olson with the PAT. Man, he has been perfect. Five for five. Easy kicks for Zach. Nice, nice form. 10 3 to play it is Mission Viejo. 35 Centennial nothing. And this team is loaded with talent. Fun quarterback, Ian Fever. Actually, he's played better in the second half with his passing. Throws well on the run, going left or right. Excellent receivers. Two superb running backs. Sushesk, tailback. And you got Marks, a 235-pound bruiser. And you got other guys, but uh, and a fine array of players on defense. Now, what happens now in a game like this, you have uh, the other team, like Centennial, battered and bruised, and you're... Mission Viejo, you just keep on coming. Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to stay tuned for PlayOnSports.com for our post-game show. We'll wrap up the action on your post-game show. We'll have an interview with our player of the game. That's coming up next in just a few moments, once again. So 10 minutes to play, 35 nothing Mission Viejo. And you know my selection for player of the game. I said it once, I'll say it again in about five minutes. Alex Sushesk for Mission Viejo. Their coach can have his player of the game, but I'm the one picking it. That's who I pick. They've got a lot of fine players on defense. You can throw in your quarterback. You can throw in marks. But... Uh, I see a game breaker, and I like game breakers. Frazier on the return from Centennial across the 15, 20 yard line, 25 and down. Number 75 on the stop, that is Rashawn Howard. Rashawn Howard on the stop from Mission Viejo. Noah, don't call me Smoking Joe Frazier. 9-5-4 to play, 35-0. That's what happens in the game where it's a five touchdown difference. Centennial will take over at its own 25 yard line. And you go back in the quarterback for Centennial. They had a nice drive going in their last possession, then it bogged down due to some mistakes and penalties again. Inger behind the center. The single running back is Frazier. They're coming on defense. Play action, eager to throw. 
Lost it. Complete. Barely a gain, though. Jose De Leon. Mission Viejo is pinning the ears back and going after the quarterback right now with a 35 nothing lead. But they've been very aggressive throughout the game as far as rushing and attacking the QB. They don't respect Centennial's ability to run. You have to show them respect. It's like a botched handoff, botched snap. Now that was almost a turnover against Centennial. Third and nine for the G-Hawks. Angle from the shotgun, third and nine. Sets up, heavy pressure, rolling to his right, to the 30-yard line, has a first down and more, knocked out of bounds on the Mission Viejo side. Ingers had a nice second half for Centennial. He really has shown his ability to run the football, but hasn't had much of an opportunity to throw it tonight due to the heavy pressure by the MV defense and the fact that he's been behind most of the game. You can't do it all yourself in this game. But when you're going up against a very talented team, you just tip your helmet to them. Triple up formation for Centennial. Shotgun formation for Inger and company. 8-3-4 on the clock here in the fourth quarter. Inger to throw. Lost it high into the air, incomplete. Daughtry is down there. Mission Viejo's DBs were even close to the football. Special announcement, there's been a set of keys found by the tailgate on the north side of the field. You can collect those keys from Officer Dishman if you so wish. Second and 10 for Centennial. Nice breeze. Is blowing through the Hawks' nest this evening in Northwest Bakersfield at Centennial High School. 35 0. This game has dragged a little bit here in the fourth quarter. A lot of passing, which stops the clock. Anger from the shotgun. Frazier besides him. Triple up formation for the G Hawks. Anger to throw. Rolling to his left. Goes down. Had nowhere to go. Number 30 hit him. Mission Viejo. Braden Roach. Braden Roach, fine hit. If I had to go player of the game, I'd get a player of the game to the entire defense of MB and an offense to Alex for Mission Viejo. The defense has been a stalwart tonight, very stout. And of course, they could be very aggressive up by this match in the second half. But they have been very passionate about playing D this entire game. 7.35 to play. So the tenant with a trip right formation. Third and 18 for Inger. Frazier to his right. Inger sets up. Comes the pressure. Down three. Has a first down. Out of bounds for Centennial. Into Mission Viejo territory. Inside midfield for the G-Hawks. Don Tria, 6'2", 194-pounder. Wide out, DB, punter, the G-Hawks. Inga looked to his right, rolling that direction. It's a nice pass. And reception, Lopez on the far side. They're calling it incomplete, though. Well, it was a nice try, that's for sure. Because the ball was trapped. Second and ten for Centennial. Well, the ball on the left hash mark.
Well, the Centennial cheerleaders haven't given up yet tonight. Down 35 0. They're showing their hawk spirit. 7 3 to play. We have seen a lot of flags in this game, especially in the second half. This will go against the defense, five yards. The Diablos lined up in the neutral zone. But they're up by 35 points. Daughtry, Frazier, slips a tackle to the 40-yard line. And down to the 38 in Mission Viejo territory. Rashawn Howard with a tackle for Mission Viejo. Frazier tried to slip that tackle and gain some more. But against this team, it's hard to find a, a really short opening. They're the number five slot right out of a trip right formation for Centennial. Daughtry, wide left. Inger on the keeper. 40-yard line. Cuts back 35. Slips out about the 33-yard line, but a first down for Centennial. That has been a very effective play for the Jayhawks in the second half. I'm sure something they will take note of when they play Redwood next week. The Redwood Rangers. Five, five, five. We're playing the ball game. First and ten for Centennial. Another efficient drive, but they haven't scored yet. Dodge with left side, trip right formation for the Jayhawks. Frazier hitting the backfield and dropped. Eckes, Ryan Eckes with a nice move defensively for Mission Viejo. They have come up with so many tackles in the Centennial backfield, especially on wide plays. They cut through those gaps so quickly. It's like they know what play Centennial is running. Very well scouted. Second and 15 for the Jayhawks. Inside the 40-yard line of Mission Viejo. Five, six man front for Mission Viejo. Set up for the screen to Frazier. He drops it. He really didn't have any real estate in front of him. A lot of white jerseys. They saw it coming. Third and 15. Angel number eight. Looking to head coach Brian Nixon. Bob Johnson. And route to another victory for Mission Viejo. He's had a fantastic record in his tenure there. 10 3 last year, 4 0 in the South Coast League. That's about par for the course. Usually have uh, maybe 11 victories a year. One year they were 13 1. Ingram to throw, post pattern, wobbles it out there, dodge being incomplete. Throw it to the backside. You want to throw that to the inside. Actually, double coverage by Mission Viejo. 4.46 on the clock. 35 nothing Mission Viejo. And for Centennial, 4th and 15. And they definitely will go for it. Eric Kane, 77, checking in for the Jayhawks. Trying to give some much-needed support from his right guard spot for Centennial, for Inger. Inger looking right, pressure. Frazier on the screen, 35, cuts back to the 30. Wow, here comes a flag. As he tries to cut back against the grain, hit by about three or four Diablos, well short of the first down. Mackey on the stop for the Diablos. Holding against Centennial. It'll be first down for Mission Viejo. The penalty is refused by the Diablos. 
And the Jayhawks back on defense. Down 35 to nothing. Centennial getting smacked at home by Mission Viejo. 35 to 6 last year, 35 nothing tonight. They have a lot to work on, but they're playing a very talented team, a very talented and deep team. But you know what? Well, look at it. You schedule them, you have to be ready to play, and you have to match up to them. The ball love hash mark from Mission Viejo, new quarterback. Sweep to the outside, to number two. Nice, nice tackle. Khalil Shagaz, nice tackle number one for Centennial. 405 on the clock. Second down at five. Brett Tenhoff, the quarterback for Mission Viejo number 10. Uh, they have some new players in there. A little inside handoff to about the 40-yard line. Turn off again. They didn't give him a good spot. Should have been past the 40-yard line. It's about the 39-and-a-half-yard line. Who's counting? Third and short for the Diablos. Three level to play. Ten hop to throw the pass. Incomplete. incomplete. Through to the opposite side of his intended receiver. And it will be fourth down for Mission Viejo. Connor Gonzalez. Gonzalez, the intended receiver. Fourth, down and two. fourth and two. Envy is not going for it. Looks like they're in punting formation. In their own territory inside the 40 yard line. Number four back to punt. That is Tommy Manning for Mission Viejo. Back to receive is number 80, Andrew Dockery. Fourth down, 306 on the clock for Mission Viejo. Dockery, the lone deep man for Centennial. Standing at his 23-yard line. Low snap. Scoops up like a shortstop. Booms that punt. In over in. Turns over. Dockery on the left side lines. 30-yard line. 35. I think he stepped out of bounds. As he is tackled at midfield. But he stepped out at the 42-yard line. Nice return, though. As we have the blocking lined up in front of him to the right. Well, Daughtry returns punts. He punts. Wide receiver, defensive back. Man, he about does it all for Centennial. 2.52 on the clock. It is. Mission Viejo 35, Centennial nothing. Let's see if the Jayhawks uh, still try to air it out or just try to run some plays and execute. Quick pass complete to the 40-yard line, 45, and out of bounds. Andrew Hansen on the reception. Andrew Hansen for Centennial number 12. As he gets out of bounds, call it second and three or second and four for the Jayhawks. The two-minute warning is less than two minutes to play. Second down. Thirty-five nothing, Mission Viejo. The Hots next. Centennial High School, Northwest Bakersfield. A pass barely got off to Hanson. Norman, the quarterback for Centennial. I think they lost yards that time. Called third and five for the Jayhawks. In their own territory, at the forty-eight yard line. 
So we are coming down to the final plays of the game. Alexander Norman is a junior quarterback. 5'9", 171. Alexander from the shotgun. Gives ball to his running back. It looks like they have a first down. Dante out of bounds. Should be a first down for the Jayhawks as he lands out of bounds in front of the Centennial bench. Then go out of bounds. The clock keeps on rolling and ticking in favor of Mission Viejo. So 35 6 last year in favor of the Diablo, 35 0 in 2012, unless Centennial gets on the board. Out of the backfield. Ross, Ross makes a nice, move, cuts it back nice move, cuts back inside of 40 to about the 38-yard line. Dancing feet for Ross. Seven on the, stop. the clock winds down. And the final score from Hawks Nest at Centennial High School. Mission Viejo 35, Centennial High School nothing from Northwest Bakersfield. Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to stay tuned for PlayOnSports.com for our post-game coverage. We'll wrap up the action on our post-game show. We'll have an interview with our player of the game, Alex Sushesk. That's coming up next in just a few moments. Once again, the final score, Mission Viejo 35, Centennial nothing. This is Friday Night Football on PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. We can get a player up here. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Fourth and ten from the 41-yard line for St. Augustine. Kennedy dropping back to pass. Looking left, firing, incomplete okay. intended for Nolan. No penalty flags on the field. Mar Vista will take over on downs. And Jordan Lertik will take that knee. And the Mar Vista Mariners knock off the number two seeded St. Augustine Saints at Mesa College in a dominating performance on both sides of the football for Mar Vista. They trailed 14 to nothing and came back. Again, down 2 nothing, facing adversity, and they've really just turned the table around since game number three. Set an attack, great block made back inside the Maverick zone. A chance there by, uh, by Bosback back inside the Maverick zone. Ball attacked there by Bosback. A second opportunity by Bosback. Lift violation, call! Ah! Winner! Oh. It's a over the over the net call! Oh my goodness! Balls back reached over on the attack. A Maverick Air wraps up the title for the presentation Panthers. A 15-9 victory in game number five, and they wrap it up coming back from 2-0 down match-wise and take it three games to two. 36-35 and driving and oh baby! Shrigley with the jam and it was with emphasis. And it's the foul and listen to these fans. Do you know who's standing up right behind us? Tony Bland who is the head recruiter for San Diego State. I think he's drooling. Somebody get that man a napkin. Quick score on this drive. There goes a hand off to Zeller, trying to go straight ahead, but he is met by Wall. Now he breaks out to the outside, gets across the 30, 35, on the right, 40, midfield. He's running down the sidelines. He's going to go all the way as he's at the 10, 5, touchdown. Patrick Zeller got he stood up at the line of scrimmage and broke out to his left to the far sidelines, and he was in a foot race, and he went all the way for the touchdown, broke a tackle, and made a nice.